Well, Happy New Year, Fight Fans. I have to say Happy New Year to you all on January the 22nd, 23rd, because I did not do a video last week for the Joe Smith fight. I did see the fight. I just saw it a couple of days after it happened, and I just decided not to do a video on it. So this is my first time since last month speaking to you all. It was Mark McSayo with a unanimous decision surprise victory over long reigning WBC champion Gary Russell Jr. I'm gonna start out by saying I got this fight wrong. I had Gary Russell by unanimous decision. Let's talk about the pros and the cons. Let me start with Gary Russell. The pros would be he definitely seemed pretty game in there by fighting the way he did after the uh, fourth, fifth round, whenever it was when he stopped throwing his right hand. It did seem very evident that he had some type of uh, right arm, right shoulder injury because he pretty much was all straight left hand. And we usually don't see Gary Russell fight like that. He still was elusive on his feet. He was still ducking and dodging punches and trying his best to win the fight. The con would, would be that Gary Russell fights about once a year. And this is why I'm not real big on Gary Russell. He does, he does not fight a lot. And he stays very inactive. And as one person said, he likes to hold that belt hostage because he doesn't fight that much. As for Mark McSayo, the pros would be he did not seem to be intimidated at all. And I'm talking about first round before Gary Russell hurt his shoulder. He didn't seem to be intimidated. He came in mixing up his punches. He had fast hands. A couple of times I saw him throw a straight right left hook as he was coming in. He was throwing quick right uppercuts. He had good feet, feet movement. Mark Masayo came in there and he just mixed it all up. He came in there looking like a guy that wanted to win that title, not a guy who wanted to be an opponent. We're talking about the fight. I thought it was a pretty good fight. I thought it was I thought it was decent action, especially for the fact that Gary Russell was a one armed fighter for most of the fight. But I like the fact that regardless of that, Mark Masayo took he took the opportunity. He saw that he had a wounded man in front of him, and he just never let up on, on Gary Russell. And in the end, hey, he, he wins that title. Now, what I would like to see is I would like to see a rematch. Generally, I would want to I would come up with a couple of names and say maybe Mark McSayo could fight this guy and maybe Gary Russell will pick up here. No, I think we need to see a rematch. I think we need to find out what's really going on with Gary Russell's shoulder. When can it heal and when can these guys get back in the ring? And by get back in the ring, I mean sometime this year in 2022. Not one of Gary Russell's usual uh, tricks where he... Uh, He's, he's out, he's injured, or whatever uh, the case may be with him, and then he wants to fight again in, in 2023. Let's find out what's wrong with that shoulder. Let's see Gary Russell and McSayo fight again this year, and let's just see if McSayo can build on that confidence and come in and defend that belt. As for Mark Masayo, same thing. That's what I want to see. I want to see the Gary Russell rematch. I'm not, I don't know what the contract is. I don't know if there was a rematch clause or anything like that in there, but if it is or isn't, let's see it again. And if Mark Masayo is the man that I saw last night, the man, a man who's not intimidated, a man who's a who's a good fighter, a man who is determined, he'll give Gary Russell that rematch and he'll beat him the next time with both arms. And that way there can be no excuses from Gary Russell, the Gary Russell fans or anyone else. But what about you, fight fans? What do you want to see? Are you like me and you maybe want to see the rematch or do you want to see Mark Masayo go on, do his thing, defend that belt and let Gary Russell fight whoever he's going to fight once a year? Other than that, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so we can keep talking boxing. Other than that, Fight Fans, that's all I got. I'll let y'all later.